Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. I hope you're having an excellent day. For those of you that have been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I am a hybrid picker. But the thing that I never hear people talk about is why you should be a hybrid picker. Of course, you get the, you get the, you get that stick and go, You right? You get the stab. You get, uh, you get all that hyper percussive dynamic thing. But beyond the technique, the reason that you want to learn hybrid picking is because, like a piano player, you start thinking about your music theory, about your harmony and your chords and your triads with, wait for it, both hands. As guitar players, we're so used to, this is the, right, keeping the groove. And then you, right? Doing that, all your harmony stuff, with your fretting hand. But when you become a hybrid picker, because you can all only play one string at a time per finger, and you have these three fingers with the pick, what happens is you become looking for, you become a triad hunter, right? You start thinking root, third, and fifth of all your chords with these fingers, and this becomes a hunter of bass notes and inversions, okay? Now, if this is too far over your head, I'm making a whole course about it called the Hybrid Pickers Roadmap. I just finished filming it. I'm gonna edit this week. It's coming out in June. That's why I'm making this video, but I'll give you a little teaser. Check it. So let's say, for example, we're doing an A major something. We're skanking an A major, right? <laughs> Right? Now, A major has three notes in it. A, your root, C sharp, third, E, your fifth. That's it. If we're playing three notes on three strings, that means there's only three ways that you can play it. That's right. Either your root's on one string, your third's on one string, and your fifth's on one string. So it can either be in root position, meaning your root is your lowest note. First inversion, meaning your third is your lowest note or in the bass, or second inversion, meaning your fifth is the lowest note, or in the bass. That's it. So we've immediately broken down our big, huge chords into just three spots. We can play the same three notes on the same string set. Now use your digits here, okay? to play those little triad pieces. And the reason once you start hybrid picking, you don't really go back, because it doesn't matter whether you play country, whether you play jazz, whether you play funk, no matter what you're into, once you start feeling triads and inversions with both hands, like a piano player, and in terms of string sets, immediately, your guitar goes from this huge thing where anything anything could be anything to then, you know, you break it down to the cage system where everything can be five things to now everything can only be three things. Three things, and you have a pick, and you have three fingers. That's it. And then on top of it, yeah, you got all your licks. You got all your stick and goes. You got all your little lightning strikes and all the things that we love about, you know, spanky <laughs> guitar playing. But you are thinking about the chords, about the harmony, about the notes in the chords with both hands in real time. And when you do that, that's how you start seeing the structure everywhere. When you're taking leads, when you're taking rhythm parts, when you're comping, it is the way to bridge the gap between rhythm playing and lead playing using your physical like orientation, the physical orientation of the guitar and of your hands. And I break all of this down in a super practical step-by-step -step way in this course, the Hybrid Pickers Roadmap. It's coming out in the next couple weeks only for GuitarGate subscribers. So if you're already a subscriber on GuitarGate, you don't have to do anything, right? If you're a lifetime member on GuitarGate, you don't have to do anything. 
it, you'll get it when it comes out. If you are not a subscriber on GuitarGate, you can get this course along with all of my other courses, my whole curriculum, access to the whole community, and pick what comes next on YouTube by subscribing and becoming a member. I'm having a sale right now because I'm launching a new course and it's Memorial Day, so why not? So if you want to join, you can join right now for half off. Uh, use the code, what is it? Teach now, one word, T-E-A-C-H-N-O-W. And yes, it's even for lifetime subscriptions just until Monday, I think. Tomorrow's Memorial Day, whatever day I post this video. That's it, my friends. I love you all. Keep this thing in your hands. And remember, it, as guitar players, get past the... Like, this is my harmony in theory, and this is my, this is my rhythm, this is my skank. No. You have two hands. Like a piano player, you can do both. And you will set this whole thing free. It changed my life, and I can't wait to show you step by step how to do it. Use the coupon if you're already subscribed. Uh, you don't have to do anything. I love you. Keep the guitar in your hands. It's the best community on the internet. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Cheers.